All right, so good afternoon to you. Welcome to the Business News So Media Live. My name is Alfred Akansi. Let's go on to our first story this afternoon. Ghana's third floating production storage and offloading vessel, FPSO John Ejekum Kufo, has the capacity to process 200 million standard cubic feet of gas a day from the Sankofa fields at the Cape Three Points in the western region. This amount of gas could produce 1,000 to 1,100 megawatts of power, which is also 40% of power generation in Ghana. Gas-based FPSO John Ajikum Kufo is ideal for the oil and gas field of Sankofa Jinyame project of a Cape Three Point in the western region, which has more gas than oil. The FPSO has a capacity to process up to 30,000 barrels of oil daily expected to start in August this year and 171 million to 180 million standard cubic feet of gas a day from January 2018 to 2030. Energy advisor at the Africa Center for Energy Policy, Dr. Ishmael Aka, is of the view the efficient operation of the vessel will provide a reliable source of gas supply. Using more gas in our energy mix can reduce the tariff. Secondly, we have power challenges because we don't have reliable sources of fuel. This will reduce the country's import on light crude by 12,000 barrels a day. It will also save the country 1.5 million tons of carbon emission per year, which falls in line with the Sustainable Development Goals. The Association of Ghana Industries in their fourth quarter business barometer indicated high electricity tariffs and unreliable power supply have been major challenges for industry. Dr. Aka further indicated the private sector will benefit hugely from fuel supply from the FPSO. For the next about three or four years, up to 2020, uh, Ghana's energy demand may be so much, in fact, it may be more than 3,000 megawatts. Now, as of today, we are doing about 2,100 megawatts. Now, if we don't take care and uh, say we're going to cut supply from Nigeria, then what it means is that we have to import more oil, which, I mean, as I said, is quite expensive. FPS Okufo is expected to sail into Ghana waters in April. Executive Director of the Kumasi Institute of Technology and Environment, Dr. Ishmael Jekumene, said it will impact government revenue. Two main importance of this project, we're going to get some more money through oil and, oil and gas, but also we're going to have more indigenous gas resources for our power, power plants and possibly for the petrochemical industry. He was quick to add that flow meter and torrent bearing challenges that have bedeviled FPSO Kwame Nkrumah should be a lesson in managing the third FPSO. I wouldn't rule out the fact that the Jubilee project was fast-tracked, including the FPSO probably may have been rushed through. So um, that could be the reason why we're having those problems. But I expect that as we continue to bring in more FPSO, FPSOs, they would have learned from whatever challenges we've had with the previous ones and incorporated those uh, necessary changes. Eni has 47.2% participating interest, Vital holds 37.8%, and GMPT holds 15% carried interest and 5% participation interest. All right, so the West African Economic and Monetary Union, that's UEMOA, a commission is urging the member states, Ghana and Guinea, to take all necessary and urgent steps uh, for effective implementation and compliance with the provisions of the agreement reached on December 16, 2005, reflecting the common will of conserving and preserving West African states' road assets. The meeting of ministers in charge of infrastructure and road transport of the uh, member states, that's the UEMOA, Ghana and Guinea, held on September 23, 2016, in Kutoni, adopted a declaration on effective implementation and compliance with provisions of the said agreement in 2005 on harmonizing standards and procedures for the control of gauges, weight and axle load of uh, heavy goods trucks in the member states as we speak at the moment well. All right, so that's it for business.